Welcome back to my channel, I'm Game and Seb, and today I want to show off my Nintendo Wii game collection. Starting off the list, we have Super Mario Galaxy, a fantastic game, my favourite Wii U game I own, the soundtrack is amazing. The galaxies and the worlds that you explore is like anything else I've seen in a Mario game before up until this game. Don't know which one I prefer, this one or Super Mario Galaxy 2. They are both so fantastic. If you want to go for originality, I would probably say the first one just about nabs it. However, the second one, I think the galaxies are slightly better. It's a bit more challenging and also it has Yoshi. I mean, who doesn't love that guy, right? Whoops, I just whacked the game case. Next up, I have Wii Music, uh, a game that was big back in 2008. I have never played it, I'm probably never going to. I found it in my local CEX for a pound, and I really like the cover and case that it came with. So I thought for one pound, why not? Next up, Mario Strikers Charge Football, the first Mario game for the Nintendo Wii. I actually quite like the original a lot better than this one. If I'm honest, because I think this is a little bit too crazy, uh, a little bit too gimmicky. It's still fun, I suppose, but it doesn't really grab my attention as much as the original did. Next up we have WarioWare Smooth Moves. I know guys, it sounds like a sex game, but don't worry. The folks at Nintendo, they don't make games like that. Instead, you just do kind of weird gestures like, you know, the elephant or the... Pestle and mortar, or the dumbbell, you know, just stuff like that. It's crazy, it's fun, it's warrior wear. Moving on with the list, we have Link's Crossbow Training, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, and Mario Sports Mix. I also have a couple of GameCube games re released for the Nintendo Wii in the Let's Play Control series. Uh, new Play Control, sorry, not Let's Play Control. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat and Mario Power Tennis. Both pretty decent games. This is definitely the better game in my opinion. I also have Wario Land the Shake Dimension and Mario Kart Wii. And Super Smash Bros Brawl, which apparently is the worst Smash Bros game. Despite the amount of content that they put into this game and how many new characters and fighters and stages were added, it's apparently the worst one. The original on the N64 that had like, what, 12 characters or something, is, is better than this one. Sort your priorities out, guys. Yes, okay, it doesn't hit as hard and run as play... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't play as well as Melee, but it is still a fantastic game. And it gets a lot of uh, flack when it should deserve much more credit. That's just my opinion. I also have Super Paper Mario. Not a big fan of the Paper Mario series. Too much words, can't read very well. I'm just kidding, get bored. Super Mario All-Stars, the 25th Anniversary Edition. I really wanted this for collection purposes, but when they released it back in 2010, they could have added so much more to this set. Um, it's nice to have, like I said, but it's not amazing, and you should be able to find it pretty cheap. Now we have the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series. I've got the first one, the Winter Olympics, and the London 2012 Olympics. Really dislike the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series. Never liked it that much. Maybe because I suck at it. I'm not very good at the sports. But yeah, I've got all three of them. They're very cheap, so they're good to collect. Next up, two fantastic 2D platformers. New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Donkey Kong Country Returns. This game, I think, is just about better because it's so challenging. I love the boss battles in it. And it has eight worlds as well. It's quite a lengthy uh, 2D platformer. This is still so much fun. Um... But yeah, they are two of my favourite uh, Wii platformers on the Wii. Coming towards the end of the video now, uh, next up, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I haven't actually played through this game yet, um, but I'm definitely going to in about a month or two. I want to play this before I kind of play uh, Breath of the Wild or Wind Waker HD uh, games like that. I've played Ocarina of Time 3D and I loved it and also The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds which is also a very good solid game. So I see no reason why I will not enjoy this game. I've heard great things about it as well. Same thing can be said for Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, uh, another game I've not played. I want to go back and play the first two on the GameCube before I give this a try but I see no reason why I should not enjoy it. And I'm really looking forward to Metroid Prime 4 probably being released at the end of this year. 
And my final two games that I currently own at the moment are Kirby's Epic Yarn. Not really a big fan of this game, to be honest. It's too kind of cutesy, easy, childish, you know. I know Kirby is that kind of game. However, Planet Robobot and Triple Deluxe and uh, Kirby's Adventure Wii, which I've played but don't own, unfortunately, is a lot better than this game. This game, literally, I played the whole thing on autopilot and I completed it in about six hours. No challenge at all. So, yeah. And my last game is Crash, I believe, Mind Over Mutant. Um, I played the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for Switch in the summer. Absolutely loved it. Um, the first one is my favourite, by the way. I've never played this game. I've heard quite bad things about it, but I want to kind of look at it with my own critical judgement and find out exactly how bad or how good it is um, in the future. So, yeah. So, that's my whole Nintendo Wii game collection. Thank you so much for everybody who's viewing my videos, liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video and you're a new viewer, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, I'd appreciate it so much. And I'll see you all again in future videos. I'm Gaming Seb. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.